Hey everybody, I hope you are doing well. So we decided to do something special for our girls and take them to Oogie Boogie Bash. So might as well record it, show you guys some of the highlights of the night. Uh, plans to be a pretty fun night and we're gonna be spending the whole day there to knock out a bunch of rides ahead of time. So uh, come along with us, let's go. I hope you have a terrible time. I have to say goodbye, remember me. Don't let it make you cry. For even if I'm far away, I hold you in my heart. I sing a secret song to you each night. Remember me Though I have to travel far Remember me Each time you hear a sad guitar Know that I'm with you The only way that I can be Until you're in my arms again Remember me Un aplauso, por favor, amigos. Now, our goal for the night was really, you know, three things. To get as much candy as we possibly could. Uh, to go on quite a few of the rides. And to make sure that we caught the Frightfully Fun Parade. Now... As you saw, we got right off to the trick-or-treating side of things with the characters. Uh, waited in line for Oogie Boogie. That line started to form like a good solid half hour uh, before the event started. So definitely recommend if you want to see him early on getting in there. But uh, what we did notice is a lot of those tree trail lines were pretty long early on. So... We just hit up a bunch of the rides in the meantime. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the Luigi's, uh, you know, Halloween uh, layover and everything. Uh, but yeah, we decided to kill a bit of time, let those lines uh, die down a bit. So yeah, here we go. <laughs> Oh, no, we don't know. 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 We don't know
mean like Spider-Man. Are you a villain? Yeah. Yes, you are. I'm telling you, we villains have more fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We certainly know how to party. to this criminal right here is the last one to know where Roger Rabbit's hiding. He's not said a word yet. He's too tongue-tied at the moment. Don't worry. I know he can't handle the captivity. He'll come around eventually. Until then, he's just going to loaf about until he decides to talk. Now, that plan ended up working pretty perfectly for us. We were able to knock out all of the rides that the girls wanted to go on for the night. And by the time that we got done, all the treat trails were pretty much, you know, a five, 10 minute wait. Uh, we decided to skip the first parade and hit up a bunch of those treat trails while that was going on. Best idea because we ended up being able to pretty much see every single one of those characters uh, real quickly and get a bunch of candy. In fact, for Oogie Boogie, it was just walk right in, grab a bunch of candy, see Oogie, go back out, and you could literally walk right back in again, which I think I did uh, a couple times just to, you know, get the maximum amount of video because he's so cool to see up close and personal and whatnot um but yeah uh the one thing was we did want to hit up villains grove a lot earlier in the night now it was down for most of the initial part of the evening but thankfully did come back up we were able to get in line really long line it was stretched all the way back out to grand californian but went really quickly. I think we waited in line, I want to say like eight to 12 minutes. So not bad at all. So uh, let's go ahead and take you through a bit of Villains Grove right now.
So I thought Villains Grove was pretty neat. Uh, not really something that you need to do multiple times, but uh, pretty cool seeing how they get the whole Challenge Creek uh, set up differently for the night. And especially that wisp part, that's pretty, <laughs> you know, cool and a little bit like spine chilling and whatnot. So as I mentioned before, we did skip the first parade. So at this point, the youngest one pretty much was passing out, decided to get a spot uh, in the parade. Now, one thing that we wish we had known was um, the parade both times starts from over by the pier. So we ended up getting a spot over in Hollywood, uh, thinking that they were going to come back the other way when, in fact, they went all the way around, <laughs> came back. So we ended up wasting a lot of time waiting for the parade to actually get to us. Didn't mind waiting for the spot, but it was, I think, another 30, 40 minutes until the parade actually got to us. So we did miss out on, you know, a little bit of time. And during that time, the oldest uh, fell asleep as well. So made sure to record the parade. And here you go for your enjoyment. The Frightfully Fun Parade 2024. <laughs>
destination. Creepy creeps have crept from their crypts to join the swinging wake. Aren't you dying to join them? Only appear when the candles are flickering, you know. Do you sense a disquiet in metamorphosis? That'll wrap it up for Oogie Boogie Bash and our video. 
I uh, wish we would have been able to uh, get a lot more captured, but with the excitement of the night pushing around a stroller dealing with both kids, felt like we captured quite a bit for you. Um, absolutely loved it. I know a lot of people complain about the price, but you know, for one of those, you know, special events that you're going to do, it's really fun. We got a lot of candy, which I mean, if you're taking kids, kind of the whole point that they got to see people they love, they love Oogie Boogie. They're like infatuated with Oogie Boogie. So getting to see him up close was really fun for the girls. Uh, would definitely recommend it. One thing that we are going to do, though, is we are going to wait uh, a few years to get tickets uh, again for it. That way they can be a bit older, experience more of it, and not falling asleep, you know, that last, you know, hour, and hour and a half uh, before. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a happy Halloween. Take care.